So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys five meals that I make every single week. You know, my favorite recipes, things I keep coming back to, um, kind of like the best of the best basically. So over the next like five days, I'm gonna show you guys like some of my favorite meals or my favorite meals throughout this whole week. And tonight we are making crispy chicken fingers. If you saw the original video and you haven't made them yet, you need to make them because they are so perfectly crispy. They taste like they're not healthy, but they're totally healthy because we make it with good ingredients. So much flavor and like the chicken is like tender and moist while being like crispy on the outside. They are so perfect. And I'm also gonna roast some broccoli along with that. I like to have like a green veg and chicken fingers. So that's what we're gonna make today. So you're going to need some tapioca flour, some almond flour, and then to the dredge, you can add your choice of seasonings, but I really like smoked paprika. I find this is really delicious in it, and I also add in some garlic powder. And then you're gonna need an egg, of course, with your chicken, because we're gonna dip it first in the egg and then in our dredge mixture. And I'll leave the measurements for everything down below. So I'm starting off by chopping up some broccoli, and to that I add in a little bit of avocado oil and some garlic powder. And then for our chicken fingers, while those are in the oven, I'm just whisking up an egg and then we're gonna make our dredge from a couple tablespoons of tapioca flour, a couple of tablespoons of almond flour, and then we are going to add our seasoning. So I wanted to show you guys like the inside of the chicken tenders and like how crispy they are, but like still how moist they are. They're so good. So another meal I have every week is roasted sweet potato with a tahini drizzle. And then I always pair that with a protein and a green veg. It's a really quick, easy meal for me. I probably make this like more times a week than anything else. It's super delicious and the lemon tahini sauce really just elevates what would otherwise be just roasted veggies and protein. So it's like a, a little extra step that tastes so good and gives it a lot of flavor. So I'm just chopping up some Japanese sweet potato. It is my favorite kind of sweet potato. Let me know your favorite sweet potato down below. I definitely prefer this one to the normal orange variety. I'm adding on some smoked paprika and garlic powder. As you guys can see, these are my two favorite flavor combos because I'm also adding it to the lamb as well. And then I just make my lemon tahini sauce, which you guys have seen me make time and time again, and everything will be down in the description box below. So this is my bowl. We have the roasted Japanese sweet potato, ground lamb, some roasted asparagus with the tahini drizzle on the top. So good. So another meal that I make every week is cauliflower fried rice. It is so easy to make. You just need some chicken or some protein of choice, cauliflower, peas, a little onion, and it's easy to whip up quickly. If you saw my TikTok, if you follow me there, which you should, it's I'll link it down below. I believe it's keep up with live underscore, not just keep up with live. Um, I made it on TikTok and it's like a really popular TikTok on my profile. So I wanted to share it here as well uh, because it's easy and delicious. So let's go ahead and make it. So this is basically everything you're going to need. I have my chicken that I'm going to cut up, peas, onion, some coconut sauce aminos, and some Riced cauliflower, mine's frozen, but you can also use fresh. So I'm starting off by chopping up an onion and we're gonna dice it into small chunks so that we can start cooking that in our pan with just some avocado oil and some garlic until it's nice and fragrant. And then I'm adding in the chicken once the onions are translucent and once the chicken is cooked, the peas and the cauliflower. Then all you need to do is add in some ground ginger or fresh if you have fresh and some coconut amino. And there we have our chicken fried rice. It is like so delicious and so easy to make. Definitely one of my favorite like quick meals as long as you have like the frozen veggies on hand 
and the protein, it's super quick to like whip up in like less than 20 minutes. So another one of my all time favorite meals is cauliflower gnocchi. As you guys know, I've been making this at home for the last like two years. I have a homemade recipe here on my channel, which I will link down below, but it's so good. It is just as good as the Trader Joe's. I don't live in Canada, but I have tried the Trader Joe's ones when I'm in the US and these taste just as good and you can easily make them at home and there. I make a big batch, I freeze some, and then I'm gonna have some tonight as well with some protein. I like to have it with some protein um, just to kind of balance it out and really get a good dose of protein. Also because I haven't really eaten that much protein today, I want to make sure I get that in. I had a really good like little tennis game. It's like my new summer thing as I play tennis. Um, so yeah, I need some like good protein in my dinner tonight. Let's go ahead and assemble our gnocchi. So you're gonna need some cauliflower, potato starch, an egg, salt, and then some cassava flour. So for the gnocchi, I'm just using some steamed cauliflower blending that up with one egg until it's nice and smooth. It just makes it a lot easier to add the flowers in. And then we're gonna add in our cassava flour as well as our potato starch and just give that a nice stir together until the dough is smooth. So now they're all done. I really like baking them in the oven because it's easy. We have my crispy chicken thighs. Super excited to dig in. It is such a really good comforting meal. So another meal that I make every single week are tacos. I switch up the protein with whatever I have and I typically add like avocado and slaw on these grain-free tortillas that taste so good. And this is also something you can prep in advance, especially the protein and throw it together for a delicious quick meal. So let's jump in. So this is just some slaw that's been marinating. I put this avocado and lime dressing on it about three hours ago to kind of like break down the cabbage a bit. And the great thing is that you can prep this in advance and then just put it on your tacos. And then these are the tortillas I'm using. They're grain-free, keto. These, uh, the ingredients are really clean. There's only four, um, four grams of fiber, one net carb, and four grams of protein, which is really, really good. So I'm just seasoning my chicken with, again, smoked paprika and garlic, my favorite flavor combo right now. And I like to heat the tortillas a little bit on a pan to get them nice and browned. I'm adding in my avocado and then my chicken once it is done. And then we're gonna add our slaw on the top. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you make these meals. They are so easy and delicious and definitely my five go-tos. If you like healthy recipes, check out the video on the screen and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.